All right, it's Valentine's Day. You can see all of our pretty pink. And everybody at home, if you're single or part of a duo, we all know that having girlfriends is so important. That's right, empowering friendships make life so sweet. On the heels of Valentine's Day, we are here with Sherry Lee. Now, you are a friendship coach and the creator of the Imperfectly Perfect Life. Welcome yes. in. Thank you. I know that's a mouthful. No, I love it. <laughs> you said it perfectly, it. though. Uh, <laughs> by the way, you were also a litigator. You yeah. do so much. It's so, you have a very impressive background. Thank you for sharing with us. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so you have gone through quite a lot of experiences mm -hmm. in your own life. If you could share a little bit about that and how girlfriends have helped you. Oh, my gosh. Girlfriends have helped me in every stage of life. So I don't know if I should admit this or not, but I'm in my mid-50s now. And I will tell you, you know, raised kids, so they were there in my early 30s going through that. When I stopped working as a litigator, changing identities, they were there for that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also a cancer survivor mm -hmm. uh, from my 40s. They were there for that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now I think we're going to talk. It sounds a little bit weird to say on Valentine's Day, but I'm going through a divorce. Mm -hmm. They are so there for me mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. It's so true. Girlfriends wow. just lift you up whenever you need it. Now, you have been on, we're looking at photos, um, of the 50 states project and basically you're going to each and every 50 states of the US trying to promote friendship and what I wanted to know is what lessons you've learned about friendship yourself along the way yeah so I did this in 2023 I you know feel like I just wrapped up I was traveling all you know a lot last year and I learned so much about friendship one of the things I still remember this woman in Arizona 93 years old oh. and you think of you know you get to that age oh it's so sad you keep losing people but no she was sharp as a tack steady on her feet and she was at this little party that oh. I was able to attend and of course everyone was younger than her and she consistently constantly makes friends oh. and for me that told me okay this is the secret of life not to be sad about the people, I mean, of course we're sad about the people we lose, but be excited that we can live so long to meet new people, oh, make that. new friendships. You yeah, know? that's beautiful, yeah. like change that perspective. Yeah, wow. and so it's made me more excited, you know, just meeting her and more open to actually friendships of all ages, especially younger friendships too. Well, that was something that we talk a lot about, that as an adult, it's hard to meet new friends mm -hmm. and make, you know, those kind of girlfriends that really, really count. How, how I know you have some tips, so I guess let's start there with what tips you have. Yeah, first of all, doing this 50 state projects, these people were essentially strangers, so I was surprised how open people are to friendship. Mm -hmm. So have that in your mind, that people are pretty open, more than we, we think mm -hmm. sometimes. Um, also, I like to say, take off any any um, ideas you have of what a friend should be. Mm -hmm. Take off those, those pressures, you know, if I'm a friend, I need to show up for this, this, and this, answer the phone all the time. Mm -hmm. Webster says friendship is just a mutual admiration for one another. Mm. Also, be curious. You guys do this naturally with what you do. You're curious about your guests. You ask questions. Not all of us are trained to do that or practice it. But once you start practicing curiosity with someone, it starts to happen and feel more natural. Mm -hmm. And it takes off the pressure for you mm -hmm. as well. And active listening, too, is different than just giving your opinion yes. on when, when a friend is sharing what they're going through. I feel like that's very important. Um, so you just launched a podcast. Yes, yes. And you, as you mentioned, you are going through a divorce. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what I would do if I didn't have my girlfriends to open up to. So how are you finding healing through talking, kind of putting it all <laughs> out there? Yeah, so the podcast, you know, it actually was, it came, I'm learning as I go along. Let yeah. me just say that. Yeah. Because I've been using my tools, I work with my clients on myself. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do this in real time to help other women going through this divorce process. Mm -hmm. And it's really about the art of reinventing yourself. Mm -hmm. like and mm -hmm. as far as girlfriends go, I, you know, it's so good to have friends in different areas. I have a girlfriend whose husband's in the car business. She's helping me right now looking at cars. I have a friend who's a financial person. She's helping me with finances. Mm -hmm. A friend who's, you know, several friends who've gone through divorce and they're helping me at different stage. Friends who know single men. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean these, you, know, they're, they're, you realize that all these people that you've met right. in different parts of your life, including the 50 women that I'm still in touch Aww. with across the U.S., 
they've been my, you know, my anchor through this process. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's hard too when you're going through like those hard times for some to reach out to those mm -hmm. people. What kind of advice would you have for those who are maybe feeling, you know, in a hole or alone on Valentine's Day mm -hmm. and just don't know how to how to reach out for help or guidance? You know, I think it's it's letting one laying down that definition of friendship. Like I need to appear in a certain way to be a friend. Mm -hmm. And what surprised me when I, well, I don't know if it surprised me, but what reassured me when I went on this 50 states travel is we've all been through the same things. Mm. And you may notice this like on social media, when people post on Facebook something great about themselves, people like it. But when somebody posts maybe something that they're struggling with, people really jump in on that, mm -hmm. you know? And I've noticed that. And so just trust in your friends that they'll mm -hmm. jump in. They're not there to judge you. And a lot of times they want to know how you're doing and they're afraid to ask. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of helping them when you say, hey, kind of need a little help here. Mm -hmm. So true. Like, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you, thank you. all right. Yeah. Fascinating. Step into your power. Check out an imperfectlyperfectlife.com and find your purpose and progress. This local on two weather authority report is sponsored by